Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So a lot of people have been asking me about the USB on-and-go capabilities of the Nexus 5. So I figured why not do a video demonstrating it. So for USB hosting, first you'll need is a USB on-and-go cable. And that's this thing right here. You can find it on Amazon or eBay for really just a few bucks. Um, and it's really just convenient. So, let's just go do some basic things. So I'm going to connect this to the bottom of my Nexus 5. And just if you're wondering, USB on-and-go in theory works with any device that runs Android 4.0 or higher. Um, in practice, not really because a lot of manufacturers remove it from the kernel like HTC, except with the HTC one. So let's start with something basic. Um, I'm just going to take right here my mouse, wireless mouse, plug that into there, and right here is my mouse, and here we go. Mouse and keyboard work just fine. So, yeah. So that's really nothing new here, and I can do the same thing with the keyboard, but what a lot of people are actually interested in is with uh, storage devices. So, if you want to mount a flash drive like I have right here, what you're going to need to do is download an app called Stick Mount. And Stick Mount is available within the Google Play Store for free, and you will need to root in order to use it. So, you need to download it, and then once you download it, what you're going to do is connect your USB flash drive to the end of the USB cable. And it's going to prompt you saying a device has been connected, do you want to open stick mount? And you can choose to do as default for all the devices. Alright, and it's searching. And it has been mounted. So the awesome thing is, once it's mounted, what we can do is go to any file browser of our choice. So, for example, I use Astro, but you can use any file browser. Go to your SD card. You see a folder called USB storage. Then say SDA1. And here you go, you have all the files that are on your USB flash drive accessible from right there. Like I said, it's pretty convenient and it works well. So let's try with something else. Alright, so let's try with something different. I'm going to do a SD card reader right here. And I do have a micro SD card slot, micro SD card inserted. So let's try that, connecting it. And yes, okay. Alright, so let's go back to Astro and let's go to USB storage. And then now let's go to SD, I don't know which one's going to be N. It's not an SDA, it's actually maybe SDDD1. There we go. And as you can see, here are all the files that are on that micro SD card. I have them started through the card reader. And they're accessible from here too. So, like I said, you can use this for external drives, external hard drives, um, practically any USB device, as long as it can be self powered or powered. Um, through an external source, I should say, then you should be fine. So guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another guys in the video. Thanks.